Hello, today we're going to talk about NCIRCLE File Integrity Monitoring Solutions CCM, Configuration Compliance Manager. NCIRCLE specializes in agent-less enterprise class auditing solutions. The file integrity monitoring is gaining a lot of popularity and it's, it is becoming a requirement in a number of different uh, bodies out there and certainly highly recommended for uh, file monitoring against tampering. Now we provide agentless continuous enterprise wide solution and you certainly choose uh, which specific file which specific servers you'd like to monitor desktops and areas of criticality in terms of monitoring different components of the operating system. So some of the reasons to use file integrity monitoring include temper detection of critical operating system files and log files. All of these types of changes can be alerted upon with a solution like CCM. When it, something bad happens, we can notify you. How often you choose to monitor these files, how often you choose to scan these devices is really based on the schedule that you determine. Reporting can be done on changes over time. All of this information is stored in the database. The retention period is really up to the customer. And so at any point in time, scanning is completely decoupled from reporting. So you may run a report on any number of changes um, in CCM against the group of devices that you're interested in. Now, we see FIM show up in PCI DSS, uh, lately in the consensus audit guidelines, the 20 critical security controls from SANS, and then NIST 853. For example, PCI has two different areas where FIM is especially mentioned, and they're calling for FIM uh, file integrity monitoring to system executables, to application executables, configuration and parameter files, and also centrally stored um, historical or archived log and audit files. So those are all uh, very important when it comes to servers to make sure that they were not tampered with. From SANS, we see that there's a recommendation under Critical Control um, 3 where integrity check-in tools are used and with respect to monitoring files and change management. And of course, integrity is a big part of validation whether something changed. Again, with CCM, we can help you not only to determine the integrity and how that changed, but also other attributes with respect to files, which we'll take a look at during the demo. In Ref3 of 853, it is notable that FIM is a requirement. It's definitely gaining a lot more popularity, but it's not just for, say, uh, critical like System32 files and certain applications, but for example, also for backup files. Integrity can be monitored um, with respect to backup files, and it is something that you can point CCM to do. You can really specify any files, any extensions, or directories you wish to monitor, including um, any log files. And there is an append function within CCM so that if a uh, log file which frequently changes, we can account for that as well. Now let's take a look at the demo and some of the examples of how CCM can help you to monitor files and changes to those. What we're looking at is an interface to Configuration Compliance Manager. And the specific area here is Changes, where all the changes to devices are cataloged, and files more specifically uh, for this use case. On the left-hand side is a logical breakdown of devices in your environment. Again, the deployment can be with a very few servers and scale to thousands of servers. You know, we have really a great range of um, wonderful customers where deployments are varying in size and complexities and how CCM is used. Um, so FIM is just one of the ways that it can be used. Specifically, um, picking a change here for, and, and we pick one, I, I filtered on file because those are the changes we're interested in. And to the right, we see when the change occurred, what is the severity of the event and criticality of that host, and then what is the combined risk. Down below, we see details specifically about which file changed and what changed about it. What you will see under the property names is specifically which elements have been modified and, and what is the old value and what is the new value. What specific change occurred? Now. It is possible to notify when something like this occurs, or it's possible to send out an automated report. How you determine where it gets monitored can be via policies that are already in place. And just to show you an example that there are a number of policies that already exist in CCM, policies that can be customized. But specifically for file monitoring, which can provide those instructions uh, once it's assigned to the assets that it scans, you will see Windows and other operating systems and exactly which 
files are going to be monitored for integrity and on a scheduled basis. Another way to determine or to instruct CCM what to monitor is through authenticated scan task. This advanced scan task has a files category for Windows and Unix devices where you can specify exactly which file paths to monitor. Once you define those, uh, you can determine which attributes you're interested in. Because outside of just the checksum, we can also catalog, we can recurse through a directory, catalog who made the change, assuming that auditing is enabled on the directories and files that you're monitoring, even look for specific filters or extensions, right? If you're just looking for executables or DLL files, all of that can be cataloged within CCM. Now, when it comes to collecting all this data, I want you to be aware that there is a whole reporting element involved uh, within this product. And there are different types of reports that already exist in a system. You may use any of them, but file changes is the one that most specifically used. It can be very granular or it can be more an executive type um, report. There's a number of filters that go along with it. And all of these reports can be saved for kind of two clicks instead of um, having them kind of, you know, you rerunning the wizard every time. In the interest of time, I'll show you such one report. So here's a detailed file report and we see exactly which file and which attribute changed about it, what it is, what the value is, and what it was. And this is the most granular one. So on the second page we see here's an exe file and when it changed and then again attributes the version, the last write time, creation time, and file size. So we clearly see exactly which elements of it changed. In addition to just writing a report on demand, you can certainly um, have them automated and distribute them to individuals who need to receive them, when they need to receive them, and about which devices specifically. I would like to finish this presentation with one final slide that will tell you that um, CCM FIM is a part of Encircle Suite 360. It's a part of a bigger solution suite which includes not only FIM but also vulnerability risk management, configuration auditing, web application vulnerability scanning, and IT GRC reporting and analytics. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.